In the final hours before the polls open on Election Day, the presidential candidates are making their final arguments to voters. You're looking at a live picture of former President Trump's campaign event in Grand Rapids, Michigan. And in Pennsylvania, Vice President Kamala Harris is making her final campaign push in Philadelphia. As CBS's Christian Benavides tells us, races in seven battleground states will be watched closely tomorrow. Vice President Kamala Harris and former President Donald Trump hit the same two Pennsylvania cities Monday night in a final push to get their supporters to the polls. Tomorrow is election day and the momentum is on our side. If we win Pennsylvania, we win the whole ball of wax. It's over. Of the seven battleground states, the Keystone State is the biggest prize with 19 electoral votes. We need everyone in Pennsylvania to vote because you are going to make the difference in this election. Harris barnstormed in Pennsylvania all day, pushing the message of unity and never mentioning Trump by name. In the city of Reddy, she visited a Puerto Rican restaurant and even knocked on doors, telling a surprised family she was there to earn their votes. She's outperforming Trump by 13 points when it comes to women, many of whom have been motivated by the overturning of Roe versus Wade. I don't even sleep, you know. Trump hit three states Monday, including North Carolina, a state he won twice and can't afford to lose. He kept up his personal attacks and unveiled a new proposed tariff against Mexico. If they don't stop this onslaught of criminals and drugs coming into our country, I'm going to immediately impose a 25% tariff on everything they send in to the United States of America. Late Monday, Georgia's Supreme Court ruled 3,000 voters in Cobb County who didn't get their absentee ballots on time will not get extra days to cast a ballot. In Atlanta, Georgia, I'm Christian Benavides, CBS News, Chicago.